Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's video is going to be all about my self-care routine while on my period. So I've been wanting to make a video about this for a really long time because my self-care routine while I'm on my period is very different from when I'm not on my period. And I feel like I've perfected it at this point, especially after having my period for what, seven, eight years? Woo, that's a really long time. <laughs> I'm sure you girlies can relate, but I experience so much discomfort and pain during this time of the month. I have terrible cramps, my skin breaks out no matter what I do, my skin breaks out, and my emotions are just, let's just say my emotions are not so great during this time. But over time, I have come to realize that practicing self-care rather than just lying around all day and rotting away on the couch is really helpful to get me through this week. So without further ado, let's get into my period self-care routine. First things first, I really like to ease this pain that I'm having with these cramps because I will simply not get off of this couch if I'm cramping, especially in my lower back area. I just truly cannot imagine standing up with those lower back cramps. Am I the only one? I really like to make myself a cup of raspberry leaf tea and sip on that for about 30 minutes to an hour, even if I have to heat it back up in the microwave multiple times throughout the day. Also, I like to add a little bit of honey to pretty much any tea that I drink because I have a major sweet tooth. I love honey so much. I feel like I'm Winnie the Pooh out here. <laughs> After my tea is made, I'm going to roll up my yoga mat here in my living room and do some light stretching and yoga. I usually follow the same video, which is this 15 minute period yoga for menstrual cramps relief, all levels yoga. Wow, that was a mouthful, but that is the title of the YouTube video, just in case you wanna check it out and try when you are on your period as well. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it as well. And this day was the perfect time to do this mini yoga sesh because it was so sunny out and so it gave me a nice dose of vitamin D as well, which always feels amazing. Fun fact, my therapist is actually a breathwork coach on the side and she has taught me so much about the power of breathing, especially as a woman. We tend to hold our tummies in since we're taught that it's a bad thing to have a big stomach and to like have your belly out, which is so ridiculous, but that makes it really difficult to practice deep belly breathing, which is something that I do during this little yoga session. After I'm done moving my body a little bit, I am going to hop in the shower. I find it helpful to lay out my clothes before I get into the shower, especially my underwear on my heavier days during this week. I just use these Always Maxi Extra Heavy Pads, or I will use these Tampax tampons. To me, it's better to put your pad on your underwear before getting in the shower so that you're not panicking and leaking all over the place once you get out. That can be very annoying, especially for me because I have all white towels and bath mats. So even just a tiny drop of blood can mean that it's game over and I will be doing extra laundry that day. Time for my favorite part of this entire self-care routine and that is taking a nice, long, hot shower. Also, something truly hits different about having a lit candle in the shower. To me, it just really sets the vibe. Now, it's not a long shower because I'm doing an everything shower. It's long because I honestly just like to sit there and feel the hot water on my body and on my muscles since I'm just not feeling well. Let's get into the products that I like to use. So I like to start off by exfoliating with this body polish from Osea. It smells divine. I love this eucalyptus body wash by Necessaire. 
and most importantly, let's talk about feminine hygiene products that I use in the shower. To me, there's nothing better than a good old bar of soap. I like using this one by Dove. Then I go in with this V Cleanse by Osea. It is a gentle, fragrance-free cleanser that is gynecologist and dermatologist tested. Once I get out of the shower, I get started on my skincare routine. Like I said earlier in this video, I always break out during that time of the month literally no matter what. So my skincare routine is a lot more thorough than usual during this time. I love doing a face mask, so I'm going in with this detoxifying scrub mask by Skin Better Science. This mask is great at just resetting my skin for clarity and that glow. And I leave this on for about mm, five to 10 minutes. While I let that mask do its thing, I'm taking myself to bed. <laughs> uh, I love my bed so much, but before I get in, I'm gonna sort of get it all set up so that I can be super comfortable. I absolutely love this heating pad that I recently got off of Amazon. It covers your body from your shoulders all the way down to your lower back. This is literally the best purchase that I've made recently off of Amazon, or honestly, just the best purchase I've made, period. I highly recommend it. I will link it down in the description box for you guys. I never get headaches unless I'm on my period, of course. And I found that using this weighted eye mask really helps with those annoying headaches. Sometimes that raspberry leaf tea just isn't doing it for me. So I always keep some painkillers on my nightstand as well. It's super important to stay hydrated, so I keep my big water bottle next to me. Once I'm all snuggled up in bed, I usually get on Uber Eats to order some comfort food because I'm not about to get up and cook. Like... Absolutely not. I can barely even get to my front door to grab my Uber Eats order. You will not catch me in the kitchen while I'm on my period. Period. <laughs> and while I wait on my food to arrive, I'm just putting on some Netflix to binge my favorite show, Grey's Anatomy, of course. And as I wrap up this video, I just wanted to remind you all that having a period is a powerful thing to experience as a woman. And it's super important to listen to your body, not only while you're menstruating, but all month long as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications. You guys already know what to do though, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.